Hello, Event Evangelism. <laughs> well, I know that I speak for you as well. At first, this seemed so disappointing of what was going to happen on April 18th. But college students, I really believe that what I'm going to suggest to you today and what your new requirements are going to be for your participation project, I'm very excited to hear from you in what's going to happen and how the Lord is going to use this. And uh, I do want to stop and just tell you how much I enjoyed working with you. And yes, I had great anticipation and expectation of what the Lord was going to do. But in the weeks ahead, I am excited to hear what God is going to do through you in little mini evangelistic events of what God's going to do. So let's, um, one of the first things I want to do is um, tell you a little bit about the format of this class. Good or bad, I think it's going to be good. We basically covered all of our lectures that we were going to have. Um, I had one more lecture about after the event and some things you need to know. Um, so here's what I've decided to do. Um, we really are going to only have, um, you'll have the midterm the next one, and we're going to review that midterm right now. We're really only going to have three more lectures after that. I want to, in two of the lectures, and they're only going to be about 20, 25 minutes long, I'm going to review a couple things that we covered in class that I think are absolutely imperative. Then I want to give you a new lecture you have not received yet after, what do you do after an evangelistic endeavor? Then I want to have one lecture of total review over the class, and then it'll be your final. And that really will be it, because what the plans were was going to be that you guys were going to be working now on that evangelistic event. However, that is what's going to happen with your participation project. If you happen to have your syllabus, if you would take your syllabus and turn to the projects, you've already, um, you've already turned in your, um, your event planner project, and now would be your, your participation project that is left. And I want to talk to you a little bit about this. If you notice, first of all, in your syllabus, it says due April 22nd. We are going to do that. The project I'm about to give you is going to be due on April 22nd. So you got a lot of time to do the things that I'm going to share with you. So listen carefully. This is going to be one of those videos you might want to rewind. By April 22nd, you will have done at least three evangelistic endeavors with or through your church or on your own. We don't know for sure what's going to happen and what you're going to be able to do and restrictions and what your church is going to do. So let me say that whole thing again. You will have done at least three evangelistic endeavors with or through your church or your own. Dr. Shuttler. What in the world am I going to do for my evangelistic endeavors? Well, I have several ideas, and you're going to pray, number one, for what? What's our first thing to roll stones away? Creativity. So you're going to start asking God to give you creativity. You do not have to do the examples, or shall I say suggestions, that I'm going to give but you do have to do three evangelistic endeavors. Let me give you a few. Um, some of you ladies, maybe even men, could help with daycare for families. Maybe you know a family that all of their kids now are home. Maybe you could help that family with some taking care of child care for them with the opportunity to witness to them. So maybe you have some families on your block, in your neighborhood, in your area, in your community, that maybe you could help them move a stone away evangelistically by helping them with some child care and then having the opportunity to talk to the children and also to the, to the parents about the Lord Jesus Christ. Here's another one. 
writing letters to lost loved ones. I will accept this. To me, this would be the absolute, if we're all on lockdown across the country, you would submit to me three letters that you wrote to lost loved ones and use that as your evangelistic endeavor. Maybe at this time of the virus, maybe it would unlock and open the doors and bring some walls down to some um, relatives, friends, old high school acquaintances that you may have that you would write them an evangelistic letter on how to receive Christ. You would actually submit that letter as part of your project then that I could actually read that. So everyone could do that maybe at least as one of your evangelistic endeavors. Let me give you several more. Providing a service in the area to help others. Again, that would take some, you know, Lord, show me some creativity of what I could do in the area to help others. Working with a project your church is doing for the community during this time. Maybe your church is actively doing something. You need to join with them and help them. Tell us, tell us what you did. I say us because you're going to post those and we're going to discuss um, the, the different endeavors that you're doing. And by the way, this is very important because maybe somebody's struggling with another one. They've done two or they've done one and they're looking to do an, an, another couple. Your post on what you've done could help maybe, hey, we could do that at our church as well. So uh, providing a service in the area or working with a project your church is doing for the community. Let me give you a couple more. This is a great one, class. Helping elderly in their homes. Bring something to them, yard work. Elderly are supposed to, or they have underlining health issues, they're supposed to stay in their home. If you know some people in your area that you don't know if they're saved or not, go over and see if you can do something for them. Help them out. Do yard work for them and then have a chance to talk to them about the Lord Jesus Christ. You moved a stone away by doing their yard work and now you can witness to them. I actually, I can't wait to hear some of the endeavors that you're going to do evangelistically. Here's another one. Maybe some kind of sanitize, sanitizer set up somewhere with tracks. I don't know where, but maybe you find some wipes somewhere and you'd go to a public place where there still may be some people around gathering or coming and going. You'd hand out a, a, a sanitizer wipe or, or something like that and then hand them a track as well. Um, and um, I don't know how you might do that, but those are the things that we that may be able to be used. Now, in lecture number four, there are 10 questions for brainstorming. And I wanted to go over a few of those right now. What do you own that you can use? What can you do that can be used? What do people need done in your area? Now, there's several other questions. But those three questions that we gave, when you begin to brainstorm, and by the way, if you get together with a few other people from your church that you can get together to brainstorm some evangelistic endeavors during this time, I want record of that too. Take copious notes. And I want it, I want it, I'd love to hear. I got together with three other singles at my church and we brainstormed on things that we could do together. Put together your own evangelistic event. I need you to do three endeavors evangelistically. Now, if one of your endeavors was extremely large and it turned out to be a really big project, I would accept that for all three, all right? But right now, from the things that I just gave you, I want you to do three evangelistic endeavors. One could be a letter that you write. Maybe you'd put together a little sanitizer uh, station somewhere. And maybe you know uh, an elderly family or an elderly individual that you could go over and help and then give the gospel to. Now, do remember a couple things. Number one, it only counts if you gave the gospel in it. 
It's the only thing that's an evangelistic endeavor. And um, number two, you had, I, I want you to tell me exactly what it was um, that you did. Um, you could do it with other people and you could do it with your church, but that you did some of the planning, you got involved with it as well. Um, did you have a brainstorm session with others? Put that down. What did you do on the evangelistic endeavor? How much time did it take to do that? I want you to put that down. I, I spent three hours over in an elderly home. I was able to give the gospel. Tell me all about that. What was your preparation? What did you do to prep for it? You made some phone calls. You, you got together in a brainstorm session. I want to know all that. What is your follow-up? Since you did the evangelistic endeavor, were you able to follow up on anyone that you reached? Maybe not, depending upon what it was. Maybe you were. I want to know about the follow-up. Give any results from the activity. And um, I really think, students, it's going to be really exciting of what we're going to hear. At this time, I would like to review over the midterm. The next time you have this class, it will be your midterm. and. Um, so it'll just come up as your test. So if you're ready to write some things down, uh, I would like to take a little bit of review. Number one, you will fill, now remember on Canvas, there's two things that are important. Number one, the time. I'm giving you only 20 minutes to do this test. So you're not gonna have time to cheat, Lord willing, okay? You be honest in taking the test. And then the second thing is you have to give the exact wording. So your lecture notes are going to be very important. Uh, one of the sections of the test are going to be the laws of brainstorming. You're going to have to fill in the blank. Like uh, everyone in a brainstorm session, everyone is, well, I hope you just said equal because everyone's eagle. What do you leave at the door? You're Ego, okay. So they got to be the exact words that we give, but it'll be fill in the blank on that. And then um, when things change, whoa, <laughs> have things changed with ours? Sure, I want you to go back through those notes and you're going to have to fill in blanks when things change. You've got to get the exact word. I'll give you some of the words, but the words that you put in the blank have to be exactly what was in our lecture notes. Principles of delegation, the same thing. Um, I'm going to give some of those principles. I'll give part of the phrase. You will fill in the blank on the other. Um, I gave you a little thing on task at our last meeting that we had um, on task. Things to accomplish by specifics I must keep soon. Task. Things to accomplish by specifics I must keep soon. Know that phrase. You're gonna have to fill those, you're gonna have to fill those blanks. I may give you the first letter of you know T uh, A S K S, but you're gonna have to know that. Rolling stones away. Know all. I don't care what order you put them in, but you need to know all the C's, the creativity, the confidence, the confession, the, the character, uh, the consistency, the compassion. Uh, make sure that you know all of, the, all of the C's for that. There will be a true-false uh, section in the test. And then, um, now, on the gospel part, I want you to know the four parts of the gospel. And this is very important. Um, because we got to have exact words. You remember this? The good news hyphen, and you got to put that hyphen in or it's wrong. God loves you. Okay, so we got the good news hyphen, God loves you. Then what do we got? The what? We got the bad news hyphen, your sin must be paid for. And you got to get those exact words. Your sin must be paid for. Okay, then we go back. More what? Good news. Hyphen. Jesus Christ paid for your sins. Jesus Christ paid for your sins. That's the more good news. Then finally is your what? Your responsibility. Hyphen. By faith, receive Christ. By faith, 
receive Christ. So you've got to have those exact words. I know you're going to do good on that. I really wanted those four. Remember the five words too? Christ died for our sins. Know those five words. Okay, that's going to be very, very important. There's some true and false and some other things, but if you just did and studied over what I just gave, you'll do great on the midterm. So that'll be your next class. I can't wait to start hearing from you, your post, and then we are also supposed to discuss that. I'll explain that a little bit later in another lecture. I don't want to overload you with too much instruction right now. But your next time will be your midterm, and then after that, we're going to have two lectures on review, some things I really want to go back over uh, that we covered. In those times, I will also talk to you a little bit about how you post your discussion on um, other people's uh, endeavors and what they're doing. Get going on those right away and uh, posting what you're going to do for your evangelistic endeavor and give us a report on it. I'm very excited about that, students. I know God is going to use you mightily. And I know the Lord did not have us to go to Rosamond, but he does have us to reach the lost for Christ. I'm praying for you, and trust me, I really do miss you guys.